what we have here is a HP Chromebook 11G4. I'm going to show you the easiest way to fix the screen. As you can see, it's broken. So, pop this bezel off. And then you're going to get to the bottom and realize it's not going to come off. So what you need is a razor blade. So right here at the bottom there's a little J-shaped, sickle-shaped piece of plastic that's covering the screw. I get my razor blade under that piece of plastic. Like so. And then you can pull it gently pull it off because you need this piece so set that aside just barely onto something like that so hold on to it okay so those two pieces out of the way and that reveals two screws that are holding on the, the back. So we're going to open this up all the way as far as it'll go. And once you do that, you can get your screwdriver in there and unscrew those screws. I'm using a Phillips PH0 to take those screws off. Once you get those two screws off, then the bezel comes forward. And if you dip it up like that, take it off. That's what it looks like. So now we're down to four screws. Take those screws off. Still using my PH0. Those are slightly. I'll tell you about that in a minute, I guess. Now I've got my four screws off. I'm going to tip this forward, Chromebook down, and you can see this. It's held on by a piece of tape and a label. So I got to carefully use my razor blade again to remove this tape. And then push back on that to pull this off. And I've got my old broken screen loose. Get a new screen. My new HP screen, $99. So I'm just gonna lay that on here and hook this back up. Pretty easy. So let's just make sure both edges get undid before you push it up. Pull it nice and tight. Of course, you don't want to break or anything, but pull it nice and tight. Put your four screws back in. These are the longer screws. The shorter screws hold the bezel on. Got my four screws back in. You want to remove the film that covers the screen. And put back the bezel. So now we'll do that. Open this all the way up again. Just kind of hook it under there. Snap it together. Snap back together and put in my two bezel screws. And this has to be tipped as far back as it'll go. Other people take the whole computer apart to get this clamshell off and then repair it. I don't see the point in that either. I gotta put on my 
sickle shaped covers. Both sides. Done.